so I wanted to share my thoughts about the new Hygie Vegan Sun Cream uh, that recently came out. And uh, I'm wearing it on my face. It was earlier today. It was too windy to do a video about it. So I'm wearing it on my face, but I'll put it on my hands and compare it to a mineral sunscreen in a second. But I'm really enjoying this one. Uh, it's pretty affordable. It's around $20 or so unless you get it on a good deal. But uh, it's fragrance-free, which is wonderful. It does have some denatured alcohol. It's the second ingredient. So if your skin is super dry or very sensitive to alcohol, keep that one in mind. But uh, so far, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, it has niacinamide in there, which is nice, as well as beetroot, which is a really good antioxidant. Uh, we've also got adenosine, which is a nice uh, skin hydrating ingredient. We've got several different filters in here, including Juvenal A+, which is great for UVA protection. We also have uh, Tinsorb S. And uh, let's see, what else do we have? Juvenal T150, uh, Polysilicone 15, uh, and then I, uh, Neo Heliopan. Sorry. So we've got five different chemical filters in here. Uh, no fragrance, a couple nice uh, beneficial ingredients. So I'm going to put on my hand, but I'm really enjoying this one. It applies pretty nicely. It doesn't end up looking or feeling greasy. It is vegan, which is wonderful. And it's a pleasure to apply. Works nicely under makeup. I would say if you have oily or even acne prone skin, this one is pretty friendly. So well worth checking out. I'm so happy I picked this one up. I've been debating picking it up and it wasn't uh, when I picked up, it wasn't super in stock at a lot of places, but finally I had a chance to pick it up and really enjoying it. Uh, super easy to apply, really nice, wonderful texture. So here we go. Okay, so that is that. Now I thought I'd also apply a couple other sunscreens just to compare and kind of play with the UV camera. So I'm going to apply the product I reviewed a couple days ago, which is the Hero Cosmetics uh, Liquid Shield Sunscreen, which... Uh, it has 17.35% zinc oxide. Thought I'd compare it to a couple other uh, mineral sunscreens as well. So let's see. So I applied that one on this side of my hand. And now I'm going to apply two other mineral sunscreens just to see if there's any difference and kind of play around. My pockets are so full. Don't think that's my hips. It's my pockets. So this is the uh, D-Program Aller Bearer aller bear sunscreen which this one is let me double check this one's really nice it's spf 30 it's a cream formula and it is uh provides a lot of like pollution protection and it really does a nice job providing like a shield over skin so you've got that one compared to the hero cosmetics i don't know if you can tell any difference or not sometimes with mineral sunscreens they don't show up as much on the camera so Back up, if you're under the direct sun now. Okay. That's where I want it to be, but cameraman did not initially want me in the sun. So we'll see if we can tell any difference on the UV camera, just kind of playing around with it. So which ones are which again? So this is the Aller Bearer. This is the Hero Cosmetics. And then this one is the uh, Vegan Sun Cream. And I've got one more. So I'll put the last one on. Sorry, my pockets are gigantically full and I can fit a lot in there. And then this is the Essence Aller Bearer. And I'm going to put that one on the other side of my other hand. And this one is a liquid version and really nice for pollution protection, mineral sun cream. Does have a white cast, but it works really nicely under makeup and foundation. So let me put this one in my pocket. Okay, so starting here, we've got the Aller Bearer Essence. We've got the Vegan Sun Cream. We've got the Hero Cosmetics and then the Aller Bear Cream. So there we go. So I don't know, I'm just playing around with the UV camera. At home, when we're in the studio and there's not always a lot of sun, there's not a big chance to play with it, so I thought I'd just mess around with it today and try out a little bit of everything. So uh, the Hero Cosmetics really didn't have much of a white cast compared to the two uh, ones from Shiseido, but anyway, there we go. Just playing around with it. More of a re review of the vegan sun cream but uh, definitely can do more with the uh, D program if you guys are interested. So leave a comment. Anyway, I'll pull all of them out of my pockets now so you can see them all. But anyway, there we go. Anyway, so interested in hearing what you guys have to say. So I'll leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. Interested in what sunscreens have become your favorites this summer or if you're still looking because it's hard to find a good one. I know it's a challenge. So anyway, 
Okay. Thanks so much, guys. I will see you more tomorrow. Bye, guys.